a colleague of mine who had read the book um, recently asked me in a public forum about the work what I would have done differently or wanted to do differently if I had to go back and do it again. And anybody who's ever done anything, particularly research, always has things that they would change. Um, research is time consuming, it's expensive. You will never have enough time or money to do everything you want the way you wanna do it. And so there are always trade-offs involved. And I think for me, one of the biggest lessons that I learned in this was about you know, proceeding with the writing part of the project in a way that would be authentic to the stories that were told to me. You know, the first thing I had written on my board when I was at Rutgers, and I've already mentioned this, is don't be a boring academic. But what does that mean? And, you know, that's not to say that all academic writing is boring, or that's not to say that, you know, there's, there's great academic works out there. But I wanted it to be something that anybody would pick up and want to read or want to continue to read. And now I know that there are people out there who don't really like the style and that's okay. And, you know, writing is personal, reading is personal. There's so much involved in it. But I answered my colleague by saying that I wish I had known during the time that I was writing it. And it was a time where everybody around me was telling me. I mean, there were one or two people who were really cheering me on, but for the most part, the academics that were around me were telling me that what I was trying to do, which was to write an academic book for a general audience, was not possible and could not be done. It was like you had to choose a box. And I kept saying, I don't want to choose a box. And so when I answered that question and look back on it now, I wish I had known that it could work. And I wish that I would have been able to carry with me during the writing process more of a sense of rebellion, rebelliousness in a way that you just go for it. You know, if you fail, you fail while trying. There's a wonderful quote by Theodore Roosevelt about the man in the arena and my director and boss and mentor and friend came into my office one day and he read the quote to me and I heard it and I kept it on my wall and I still keep it on my wall. And I value it and I treasure it and I try to hold on to it and remember it. But looking back now, I was still, I was still hesitant and I wish I had been more fearless in the early stages of creating this work.